The 1800s were the heyday of spiritualism. People would sit in darkened rooms and seances holding hands with the medium who would then try to contact the spirit of the departed. In order to show that there actually had been contact, they would manifest all kinds of interesting things. The spirits would actually appear out of nowhere. The so-called apartments were in those days very convincing to people that spirits actually existed. Houdini was the scourge of the fake psychics, although I guess that's kind of an oxymoron, which would just say psychics. And he would show how they carried out their effects to convince people about this nonsensical contact with the dead. Let me show you one of the classic experiments. It was known as slate writing. Because in those days, it was very common to write things on slates. Well, I've got a couple of slates here with abs absolutely nothing written on them. We're going to carry out a little demo here. I'll take my two slates and I'm going to just put them together like this. And what I have here is a pack of cards. And take a card, any card. Look, I've got all kinds of cards here. and. You can, in fact, select any, any card. You just tell me when to stop. Now, 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 all right, now. I have absolutely no way of knowing what that card is. But of course, the spirits know absolutely everything. So let's see whether or not they are able to reveal what the card is. And there it is. There's the suit and the numerical value. So obviously, spirits really do exist. But next time you see a demo like that, ask yourself the question, what is more likely that nature goes out of its course or that a man tells a lie?